All right, welcome back everyone. Today we've finally done it. We've finally brought to the market a complete APU system or AC and battery pack system in that $5,000 range. So uh, specifically, uh, we're offering this system that I'm about to show you for $5,500 installed. That's AC unit, uh, batteries, and a battery monitoring system, as well as there is a mobile app for the batteries also. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour of the system and see what y'all think of it. Okay, so we're here at the back of the truck, and um, as you'll notice from some of the other systems that we were offering, um, we're not discontinuing offering the other systems. I mean, there's a different spot for where you're at in the market, so we're, we want to have a wide range of offerings for folks out there and for fleets, uh, individuals. So anybody in the market, we're, we're here, we're trying to make something specifically for you, for what you want in capacity, voltages, and in price range. So this particular unit, you'll notice there's nothing on the back of the cab. There's no additional battery boxes in the frame or on the sides. So nothing back here. <laughs> so this particular truck, it already had a factory installed inverter and it does have a S-bar bunk heater as well, which we'll get into here in a minute. So with that, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look inside the truck. Okay, so first of all, we have a remote control. Um, and there is a panel mounted as well that uh, came out as a really, I think, real clean install here. So we've actually, so you have your S-Bar controller, your um, inverter controller here, which we're already installed in this particular truck. And here is our AC system panel as well. So no wires, everything came out pretty nice and clean on this particular install. And everything was really packaged very well. So we have a unboxing video of the particular unit I'm about to show you. So if you want to see everything that comes in the kit, um, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, that's an option as well. So um, we have those, we have a link to the vendors, uh, manufacturers website, and uh, you can also buy those through us if you wanted to as well. And like I said, we are putting together a complete installed package at the, with this, with everything you're seeing here, with the addition of a battery monitor as well so that has alarms and you get the low voltage it can give you a buzzer alarm to wake you up or whatever happens whatever preset parameters you like so so that's the controls we'll go ahead and open up the bunk here so and here is the ac unit all self-contained you have your heat exchange ducts over here and then your actual cooling ducts coming out here on the bottom so these there's quite a bit of tubing that comes with the kit so I mean there's some customization that can be done I know the first probably feedback or negative feedback uh, that somebody's probably gonna give us on this video is all oh, it's taking up the whole under the bunk space in this case it is kind of true and, and unfortunately I mean we already had this s-bar unit installed here and the inverter over there so if these weren't installed or if I was putting everything in at once I could move this around probably lay this out a lot better a lot more compact the one issue with this install is that you have these two large ducts so these are roughly eight by eight squares for those flanges and you have to find a flat spot in the four where there's no cross members so that made it a little bit tricky to lay this out to find to get this all lined up in that particular spot those ducts can also go through the back wall if we want as well so we do have some flexibility in that for the truck models how we want to lay it out so so not the end of the world and like i said um if, if i was putting all this stuff in at once i would have laid this out quite differently but i didn't want to go ahead and mess with stuff that was already in the truck so um with that We'll go ahead and start it up so you can hear what she sounds like. All right, starting up and I've already got it set to the highest fan setting. So there the compressor just kicked in. So. And a, a very, very high amount of airflow. So I'll grab a thermometer as well. <clears throat> okay, so I've had the unit in here running for a few minutes. Uh, I've got it running lowest temperature setting, high uh, highest fan setting. So I got my little thermometer in here. We're about 
just a hair above 40 degrees Fahrenheit and um, four degrees Celsius for Celsius people. Didn't mention it earlier, but uh, the unit here is rated at 8,000 BTU or 2,200 watts, I believe, if you're looking at coolant capacity in watts. With that, um, we're gonna go down to the battery bank and uh, I got my clamp meter out there, so we're gonna see what we're pulling as far as amperage goes right now at the highest setting. So we got our DC clamp meter here. So right here, looks like we're, it was at 37 earlier, Let's see when it stabilizes. So right now we're showing about 30, 38 amps at full capacity. Okay, so um, I went up there and uh, turned our blower down to the third setting and then lowered our thermostat to uh, about 20 degrees Celsius, which you can change it to Fahrenheit, but 20 degrees Celsius is pretty close to room temp, around 70-ish. So we'll see what we're running now on the clamp meter. Um, so at this point, stabilize. So right there we're Roughly around the 22, 23 mark. So you can see the difference in settings. So if you're running the full blast wide open, um, this particular system, battery system here is a 400 amp hour system. So we got four 100 amp, 100 amp hour batteries, 12 volts uh, system, ran in parallel. These are a lithium starting and battery bank battery. At around 20 amps, that would give you about a 20 hour capacity, roughly. Running wide open, when we're running at 38 amps, it's gonna give you roughly a 10 hour capacity. So since we're down here looking at the batteries, I wanted to talk about that for a second. So these are the, as I said a minute ago, the new uh, lithium starting batteries we have. I know we get a lot of comments, oh, you can buy these lithium batteries on Amazon for $279, they're 100 amp and all that. And when it comes to batteries, we found out in a lot of different other applications, even as simple as, you know, a Dyson vacuum cleaner. My wife, I know Sophia's bought like three different replacement batteries off of Amazon and they, I don't think you've gotten a month a month out of them, so they keep sending them back. So you get what you pay for when it comes to batteries. These particular batteries are warranted for five years. Life expectancy on these is up to 10 years, um, with, and they're already OEM overseas in Asia, on average about eight years out of them roughly. So, so you really get what you pay for when it comes to batteries. These, like I said, are 100 amp hour, or I believe right around 2200 CCAs. Uh, so essentially one of these batteries replaces three regular lead acid batteries you know your 925s roughly if i'm done my not quite but but close so if you're doing the math so a lot more power packed into this and like i said with this system with that technology you're able to not have to add another battery bank because you can use these for starting as and as well as your battery bank so and again, going back to quality, I mean, like I said, you get what you pay for. So if you want something that's decent, that's safe, that's UL listed, these batteries are capable of, of operating in negative 40 Fahrenheit and up to like 149 Fahrenheit, I believe. So a very, very wide temperature range again. So like I said, if you're out there shopping, I mean, cheaper is not better. I mean, unfortunately. So, I mean, if you want something that's gonna last and is gonna perform in all environments and do what it needs to do, keep running, running all your, your equipment, electrical equipment. I mean, I would, I would not skimp on batteries. So that's just my two cents on that. Another couple features of these particular batteries is that they do have overload protection, uh, fire protection. Uh, if something shorts out, they will shut the battery down. This is a nice steel hard case, which I like. So a lot better protection than the plastic case batteries, in my opinion. Also, since these are your starting batteries as well, they do have a built-in protection to when they, these batteries draw down to 10%, it will shut the battery off, so that way you can still start your truck up. But you have to either, there is a Bluetooth app where you can monitor the batteries, you can monitor the charging and all that good stuff. I think we did a video on that earlier where you could, if you wanna see that, that feature, um, you can see that as well. Uh, we'll put a uh, link to that, that video in the uh, description. 
if you want if you're wanting a just battery video i know we've went over a lot but if you want just a, a just battery video that, that would be the video so you can either use the bluetooth app or hit this there's a little buttons which they are right now in our the first generation or the the first batch of batteries we got the the uh, on off switch is in the center which um as you all know the battery most of the battery boxes we have you have this hold down bar in the center so they're on the future batteries the switch will be moved over to one side or the other uh, so that way you have access to that switch but you so if the batteries do shut down at that 10 percent mark you have to restart uh, you know like i said it's a protection feature so you, your batteries don't go dead and you can't start your truck you either have to turn the batteries on mainly or you can get on the bluetooth app and you can reactivate those batteries to start your truck up so and again, with this system, we are putting in that battery monitor where you can set up alerts, where if it gets to 20%, you can have it throw an alert and start the truck up and, and charge for a few hours. So this particular truck, which also this truck is going to be for sale here shortly. We'll put out some content on that. We've done a lot of work on it. But this particular truck has a 240 amp alternator on it. So it does have a little bit hotter alternator than most trucks out there. I guess you could say most of them are in the 160, 170 amp range. So when we was monitoring this, when we were doing the battery video, I had the clamp meter on as far as the charge rate, and I believe we were around 160 or 180 amps that were to the batteries. So using that, um, that amount of amperage, you would essentially charge this 400 amp hour system in under three hours, 100%, so at, at that charge rate. So pretty quick charging. With these particular batteries um, and with all of our lithium systems, you don't have to upgrade your alternator and you don't need to upgrade everything to two aught cable throughout the entire system or, or heavier to handle that amount of charge for you know a large amount of, uh, just the way that lithiums and, I mean, AGMs are still an acid battery, just the technology is a little bit different, but they, they still require they charge very, very different than what a lithium battery is and the charge times are very different. So that's why you see in those other systems where you've got to put on these 300 amp alternators and upgrade all the wiring and everything throughout the truck, which can get very, very, I mean, this particular two watt cable, I know my cost on this stuff is like 15, $16 a foot. So, I mean, if you're running 20, 30 foot of wiring, cause you got to run a, a red one and a black one, positive and negative. I mean, you can get into thousand dollars of wiring really, really quick. I mean, terminal connectors, some of these are 10, $15 a piece. I mean, just battery jumpers. I mean, you need six or eight of them in here. So you can get, wiring can get very, very pricey as far as alternators, high amperage, high performance alternators can be very, very expensive as well, so. Okay, and just kind of to wrap up here, so if you're interested in any of the things we've talked about today, you can give us a call, check out our website. Um, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're interested in just the AC system, we have the manufacturer's website. If you want to go through us, you can go through us as well. Um, we can get them. The batteries, we have the batteries in stock right now, so if you want some of the batteries, uh, I think we're, at this point, I don't think anybody else has them in the U.S. right now, um, so we do... I think we have 10 or 12 of them here. So we do have them in stock and we can get more on the way. And if you're interested in the total package that I showed you here, $5,500 installed, uh, give us a call, check out the website for that. So if you're interested in this system, having us install it in the past with some of the other systems that we're putting in, they are a little bit more in-depth installations where usually we would like the customer to come in and have us take a look at the truck and see how we're going to do everything. And that gives us, you know, every truck's different. I mean, so how you're going to lay stuff out on this truck may be very, very different from this truck. So uh, this particular system, it's pretty cut and dry. Um, we're not adding battery boxes. We don't have to add really any other wiring, anything else. So um, with this install, it's going to be a, if you can get here the night before or the morning of, we should be able to have you out here by the close of business. So one day install. And last but not least, uh, I didn't mention this one was up there in the sleeper. So I know one of the things that's going to come up is probably noise. Uh, the compressor itself is relatively quiet. The, the blower is gonna be the loudest thing with, with any system out there. So, I mean, I would compare the noise level to this of that of a blower in a tri-pack, or, uh, I mean, the tri-packs are pretty loud, I mean, louder. Uh, so I, I would compare it to that as far as a noise level. Um, and the blower noise basically overrides the noise of the uh, AC unit itself. So, so relatively quiet um, as far as industry standard goes. So that pretty much concludes today's video, guys. Uh, so, if you check out our website, we're offering a lot more products right now as far as the 360 kind of fleet approach uh, with uh, AC units, batteries. Uh, we have the diesel force now. 
uh, the DPF cleaning emissions products that we're working, we're a direct distributor or dealer for several different emissions products lines as far as your sensors, DPFs, SCRs, DOCs, uh, clamps, gaskets, all that good stuff. So if you need that stuff, check us out. And lastly, uh, I'll kind of give you guys a little teaser here. I got this little box that is uh, very, very interesting. So uh, a lot of capabilities here that are not available on the market right now. Uh, and I believe this is the only one in the country at this point. So um, yeah, so we got this in. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and I'll tell you all about this. All right, and as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell for the updates and uh, give us a thumbs up, like this video.